Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless general reading. So if you're here, there is a message here for you because this is timeless. I don't believe in coincidences, so I really do believe that if at any point you got guided to go, you know, to get into this video, that's that's the reason, that is why. So, universe, angels, beings of love and light, gods and goddesses, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. What is it that the Pisces watching this video need to know right now? Pisces. Four of Wands. Okay, very good. Positive card. It does kind of look like the Ten of Wands because of the illustration. Oh, this is actually the Four of Pentacles. What? Tell me that doesn't look like a ten of wands. It's like a bunch of wands right there. <laughs> it's a four of pentacles, actually. So what this um, what this is showing here is the need to be mindful about your resources, okay? Uh, be mindful about how much you open up, how much you keep private, how much of your energy you give to others. And how much energy others are giving to you. It's a, it's a good moment to evaluate where you're standing in different relationships. And see if the relationships that you're in are actually in a space that is healthy, that is balanced, that is good for you. Or if there's some people taking too much, giving too little. If you feel like you're giving way too much and receiving too little. This is an important thing to... Pay attention to right now and analyze. Protect what you have accomplished, what you have manifested. Take care of what is already manifested in your life. At some point you prayed for the things that you have now. So take care of those things. Don't let them, you know, get go to waste in any way. And that could be objects, don't let them get old. Um, you know, make sure that you're taking proper care of things. If it's a job, if it's a position, if it's an opportunity that you prayed for and now you're in it, make sure that you are aware of how blessed you are by having that. You know what I mean? Like, don't take it for granted. Some of you are... Coming out of a space that it's like spirit and life somehow put you in a position in which you got to explore your intuition a lot. Your divine path, your divine contract, maybe your skills, your craft, your magic, your power, your um, wisdom from past lives. Who knows? Your purpose, your mission. You have been in a serious phase or chapter of your life in which spirituality and intuition have been super important. You have been getting to know yourself through getting to know that part of you. And it's almost like you are being reminded that we're all one. And that that herb, that candle, that crystal, that spirit guide, that frequency that can help you and aid you, in one way or another is coming from you too. It's that unity of the whole. You're coming out of that energy a little bit to focus more on the tangible interactions, as mentioned, of how much you give and how much you receive. Saving would be good right now. Focusing on not splurging, wasting um, your resources, your financial resources, your energy, your time. It's very important. Some of you love or have loved to work with like spell jars i see them here i see herbs i see um you know these little like witch bags that you put a lot of stuff in um to have like to protect you in your dreams and things like that some of you are going from that kind of approach i guess to magic or to self-care and you're moving more on to maybe cooking some of you may be interested in still Tapping into the magic of certain herbs, plants, foods, different energies, flavors, um, spices, right? 
in a, from a magical point of view, but more through like food, cooking, and baking. Some of you are going to be getting pulled into that more and more, feeling more inclined to satisfy curiosity in that way. Now, in the near future, I do see some of you struggling with <laughs> eating too much sugar. And it may sound completely like lame. I'm just some random person on the internet. Who am I to tell you not to eat sugar? <laughs> but all I'm saying is to pay attention to that because it is the devil card that comes up in the near future. And the devil card is a disempowering card. It's that moment in which our addiction, our temptation has a louder voice over our own. It's uh, falling into these toxic habits, tendencies, falling into these honestly negative behaviors of all sorts in order to satisfy that part of us <sighs> that, you know, craves that something, whatever that is for you. So Spirit is saying here, be mindful, be disciplined, not only with sugar, but like in, with your resources in general, like be disciplined as a way to honor what you have already manifested. So let's say that you are manifesting great health. Don't give that away um, by saying yes on too many little cravings here and there until you get out of balance, right? Um, they're telling you here to focus on continuing to build what you're building. On a mental space, I see that some of you right now are not feeling quite clear or settled. Some of you have been going through endings. Some of you have been, you know, seeing chapters come to an end that are very difficult to watch, observe, accept. But Spirit wants you to know that the negative is over. Okay, the worst is in the past. It's behind you. Especially if you're worried about anything that has to do with finances. The best is yet to come and the worst is behind you. Alfalfa is an herb that is often used for um, prosperity spells. And that is what is showing up in your mind space. So it's like a lot of you may be thinking about money, abundance, prosperity. You may be thinking about something related to that, that ended, that is ending, that you wonder if you need to end, right? You have the card of victory representing you. So that is absolutely lovely. <laughs> um, the card of victory. You are victorious. You are shining bright. You are making the right choices, the right calls. You are disciplined. You are committed to living the life that you want to live, to being that version of you that you want to be. There is going to be a lot of recognition coming in. First, you're going to recognize yourself. First, you need to see your own power. You need to see what you have accomplished. And then others will see it. Not because you are talking about it, not because you are shedding a light on it, just because once the energy gets settled inside of you, you know, that you kind of like, I, you, you see yourself, others see you automatically. It's pretty cool. In the environment, you have the magician. So there could be someone around you who knows a lot about magic, spirituality, manifesting, law of attraction. There could be someone around, could be a Gemini, it doesn't have to be the case necessarily. But this person, um, they know how to create joy. They may be aware that they know how to create joy or they may not be. This could be a person who just goes around being themselves and makes everything better. Some of you have a person like that around you. You also have all of the resources that you need to make something happen. So maybe you're hoping for a specific job or a specific income. It may, it may not be around you in that sense, but it's like maybe around you there is an opportunity for higher education that can get you that 
um, race in the future. It's like, like the ingredients are going to be floating around you, but it's up to you to take the ingredients and make them into what you want to live. And there could be someone around you who is capable of teaching you how to do that. So if you have been feeling called to step into Ayurveda, magic, um, cooking more mindfully, tea magic, herbal magic, or manifesting in general, if you have been feeling called to that, there is someone around you who can help you learn. Reach out. Reach out and you'll see that it's going to go very well. Some of you here get a little bit frustrated when the results don't show up as quickly as you would like them to. I get it. I mean, I think everybody goes through that. It's like, it's hard to be patient sometimes. Uh, but Pisces, what they're saying here is that your manifestations, your dreams, your desires, your goals are already in the making. It's not like you have to do anything to set them in motion. It's like they are already in motion. All you have to do is give them some space and some time. Continue to do what you know is right um, for you to, little bit by bit, get to see the uh, fruits of your labor. There is a wish here that you have. I would say even like a wish that no one knows you have. Kind of like a very secret desire or a se like a secret hope that you've had your entire life. Maybe like a dream you had when you were a child. Something very vulnerable, naive. Something very pure that is inside of you. And this wish is going to be coming in, manifested for you. To the point in which you're going to be like, oh, I didn't even remember that I once hoped for that. This could be the classical, like, I want a pony kind of situation <laughs> when you were a child. Um, some of you may manifest something um, that's still relevant, that is still that somehow still applies for you. But you never thought you were going to manifest, and it's coming in. Spirit is telling you to remain in your center, to try to take good care of yourself, your body, your mind, your heart. Continue to do what you're doing, even if you're not 100% sure of, of where you're going. You know, with what you know, do your best. And you'll see that out of nowhere, Pisces, because it does seem like it comes out of nowhere, there's going to be a blessing that comes in here that refreshes everything for you, that refreshes what feels stagnant and stale there could be some kind of big like quantum leap or boost that brings so much energy here and it's shining a spotlight on you it's gonna be very unexpected even if you <laughs> listen to the reading you still may not expect it like you may not necessarily you you might be like oh that'll be cool you know whatever but when it comes in it's like oh my god whoa this could be like getting nominated for something, getting some kind of reward, award, some kind of recognition, public recognition. It's very refreshing. And I feel like this is something that maybe Spirit is offering you that you wouldn't have necessarily looked for yourself. But it's coming in to provide something for you that's a gift. It's a it's a gift that Spirit is giving you. Some of you may be reconnecting with people from the past, childhood friends, exes, ex-partners, um, people who you know very well from like very distant times. I feel like some of you are gonna be reconnecting or hoping for those reconnections. I feel like you're going to get a leg up, Pisces. I feel like Spirit is going to be like, you know what, you've been doing things right. And it's time for you to receive a lot of gifts and blessings and signs that 
help you know that you're in the right track, that encourage you, encourages you to move forward, to continue doing what you're doing. But these gifts are not something that you can manifest yourself. These gifts, this, these gifts, sorry, are just, you know, those synchronicities, those I'm at the right place at the right time to run into this right person, to have this right conversation that leads to my dreams. I don't know. It's like some things are going to be arranged here for you that are going to be impossible to ignore Pisces. You're going to see these things and you're going to be like, well, that is not something that I did. That is something that spirit is giving me. That is a gift. That is something that, you know, um, I should just be grateful for. Accept and be grateful for. Just put your head down. Do what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Lapis lazuli crystal. Mugwort. Crystal quartz. Could be relevant. Careful with addictions and temptations. Because that could trip you up. And utilize the resources that are available for you to learn how to manifest, to learn how to work your magic. Because the magician is the energy showing up for the environment. So it's like around you, there's so many magicians. <laughs> there's so many possibilities that you can tap into, that you can appreciate yourself. But it's not something that... It's not something that will, like, reach your awareness unless you kind of look for it, if that makes sense. Like, it's there, floating around. But if you don't go in, research, learn, reach out, read, study, explore, you know, it's just going to continue to be there. So, <laughs> Pisces, this is what is showing up here right now. Basically, the message here is keep doing what you're doing. You're doing well, Pisces. Don't get discouraged if things take a little bit too long. Because while you're working on what you're working on, you know, those tiny little steps at a time, spirit is seeing your commitment and seeing that you are persevering. And a lot of blessings, winks from the universe, signs are going to be coming in to keep you motivated, to keep you encouraged. So please do that. If you want to learn more about spirituality, know that around you there's infinite mentors that can help you with that. And make sure that in the near future, you um, make an effort to not indulge too much in temptation or sabotage. Okay, That is going to be important. Addictions here could trip you up in the near future, so it's very important for you not to let that happen, okay? All right, so yeah, Pisces, that's what I got for you today. I hope that this reading helps. If it does, let me know, comment below. Let me know if any bit of it resonated or helped at all. And I'll see you in the next one, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me, for watching this video, for being a part of this channel. Thank you so, so much for allowing me to have this job and to be able to show up here and give a voice to the messages of spirit. Thank you for being open for them as well. Bye, my loves.